Hi, this is Jeff Heen. Welcome to Applications of Deep Neural Networks with Washington University. Transfer learning is great. You can take existing learning and put it into your neural network. But where do we get these neural networks from? In this video, we're going to look at how you can find these types of neural networks and some of the popular ones. And if you'd like to see other videos like this on topics such as artificial intelligence, please subscribe to my YouTube channel by clicking the subscribe button and the bell that will notify you of every video that comes out. Thank you. Keras comes with a number of models already built in that can be transferred in from their provider. So it's important to know how to make use of those. We'll talk about them. Now you can also find some models outside of Keras, like we did this with YOLO. YOLO is essentially transfer learning. We transferred in literally the entire of YOLO and also StyleGAN, but this gave us pre-existing models to actually work with. You could have custom and fine-tuned trained them further for sure. We are going to also look at these two websites. They're very important. There's a lot of good information for you here. TensorFlow Model Zoo and Papers with Code. These two sites have a tremendous number of transfer learning capable neural networks that you might want to use for your own projects. If you look at Model Zoo, you can see by the stars some of the ones that are the most popular. You can also subscribe and get new ones. There's video, there's not just computer vision. YOLO with TensorFlow obviously is, is, is very popular right now. Lots of GANs and other things that you will see here. We will, for the class, I'll give you links to the actual neural networks that we're transferring in. And typically we're using ones that are already built into Keras. But if you want to look for projects of your own in the future, this is definitely a very valuable site to look at. Papers with code is also great. This is where papers that were released with code or sometimes papers without, enthusiasts will write the code for the paper and publish it here very quickly. So this is, this is another great place to look at to find neural networks that you may wish to transfer in for your own projects. I give you a listing here of all of of the models that are built into Keras that you can actually load in. The complete list is here. If you go into the Keras documentation, these are the ones. MobileNet will be using. Some of these others can be can be quite useful as well. MobileNet is good because it's designed to run on mobile devices, so the compute power that it needs is not great compared to some of these other ones. A lot of these, I give you, I give you the links here. You can click on the main link here and it will show you the actual paper, typically, that this is coming from. Usually you will have to read information from the actual paper to get an idea of what each of the networks is actually useful for and get some of the additional information. The Kira's documentation gives you just the bare essentials to actually make use of it. But I do give you a link here on the provided by Kira's to give you the information that Kira's is giving you to actually use this. Now, all of these weights are not downloaded when you install Keras, obviously, or Keras would be a very big download. So when you run some of these for the first time, you'll see Keras in the background do a download so that it can pull down the weights from the original researcher. And it's very interesting. These researchers who develop these, who don't necessarily have the extensive compute power of, of some companies, I've seen a couple of examples of YOLO being used in industry where they tried to fine tune the YOLO YOLO weights where you can recognize multiple objects. We saw the YOLO in a previous in a previous module, but they often simply use YOLO as it is because it's it's difficult to improve upon because it's, it was done really very well. DenseNet, a lot of these are attempts to give you pre-trained networks that are deeper and deeper than ever before. ResNets, there's several versions of ResNet that are out there, and ResNet can give you some very advanced feature recognition. MobileNet and MobileNet V2, those are two of my favorites. You'll see that I use these in the class. This lets you use a neural network that was trained extensively for mobile and Internet of Things. Later in the class, we talk about how 
to actually do an IoT sort of deploy. So do neural network computation both at the edge and in the cloud. And these become useful for that. We'll talk about that at the very, very end of this of this course. And you can see in the descriptions CIFAR 10 and all the various image data sets that these were trained on. Again, more of the ResNets. VGG is a very popular one as well. I have not worked with it a great deal. I don't tend to do a lot of computer vision in my in my day job, but these are all very good starting points for computer vision. Thank you for watching this video. In the next video, we're going to make use of some of these great open neural networks that have been developed for us. We're going to start with computer vision. This content changes often, so subscribe to the channel to stay up to date on this course and other topics in artificial intelligence.